Hi, today we'll talk briefly about Zhu Yin. The term Zhu Yin in modern Chinese is referred to faint or exhaustion. Zhu Yin was also translated as inversion. I personally think there is much more to this translation, but it does in fact point to the conclusion that Zhu Yin represents the exhaustion of the Yin to the point it does transform back to Yang according to the theory of inner transformation of Yin and Yang. Zhu Yin's nature is related to blood. It is important to remember that a healthy Zhu Yin blood can prevent internal wind as well as help the body to resonate or resolve external wind. We have the arm Zhu Yin, the pericardium channel, and the leg Zhu Yin, the liver channel. The pericardium channel has nine points. The main channel travels from the anterior costal region, ending at PC9, at the tip of the middle finger. We have a very close relation to the arm Shaoyin. It is the channel of choice to treat several emotional imbalances related to the heart. It has also a very strong influence on the middle and upper jaw. The pericardium channel has a famous point, PC6, and combined with the spleen 4, it will open the Chong Mai. Emotionally, when balanced, the pericardium defend the heart against emotional trauma when out of balance, can lead to lack of intimacy and lack of trust. There is a very interesting dynamics between the heart, triple warmer, and pericardium. Describe it on the book, Nourishing Destiny, by Lonnie Jarrett. I highly recommend reading. The liver channel has 14 points. It starts at level one on the big toe, traveling along the medial portion of the lower leg and ending at level 14. Liver has a tendency to create heat and ascend when it is stagnated and not maintaining the free flow of qi in the body. This can reflect on symptoms like headaches, dizziness, upper back and neck soreness. The liver channel has a famous point, liver 3. Together with large intestine 4, it is a widely used common combination called 4 gates. Emotionally. When balanced, it shows attitudes of benevolence. When out of balance, it manifests as anger, lack of planning, and lack of decision making. The relationship mostly used clinically with Zhu Yin are Shao Yang and Zhu Yin, Yang Ming and Zhu Yin, and Tai Yang and Zhu Yin. So that's it for Zhu Yin. If you like the video, click on thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified on future videos. Thanks for watching, channel-based acupuncture.